the Joe Rogan experience. Have you heard this rumor making the rounds, stating that Bionicle is set to return in 2025? What? Are you for real, Doc? Now, I can't confirm that it's totally for real, but this rumor actually seems believable to me. Dude, if this turns out to be true, I'm going to celebrate big if and when these sets come out. So are there any more details about the Bionicle sets in this rumor? Unfortunately, no. The only piece of information we have about this rumor is that they will come out sometime in 2025. And who has prophesized this ultimate vision? Or is it just a conspiracy theory, which is totally cool. I can totally get into conspiracies about Bonkle. But seriously, though, who said this rumor in the first place? It was this dude boy on Instagram named Exabrix Leg Go Go. He is actually a reliable Lego information leaker, so he has some credibility. I don't know, man. I think this boy's telling the damn truth. Yo, I don't even know much about this, but I do feel that boy's telling the truth as well. I wonder why Lego is now suddenly thinking about making a Bionicle comeback now, though. My first guess is that Lego has recently seen an increase in interest in the Bionicle franchise, partly due to the number of guys who watch your Lego podcast. Wow. So I'm the reason that Lego's making Bionicle again? Well, it's not just you. There are some other factors that come into play as well. For example, back in 2021, for Lego's 90th anniversary, Lego Ideas held a fan vote for Lego fans to vote for their favorite retired Lego themes that should make a return. I believe that Bionicle came in third place. As a result of these results, Lego actually did make that new 2023 Bionicle promotional set, set 40581 Bionicle Tahu and Takua. Although that set was just a commemorative display set built with regular old system bricks. Wait, what? This came out in 2023? How have I not known about this set? Okay, calm down, Joe. No need to get upset. Well, here's the skinny. This set was only available as a free gift for just two weeks in February at lego.com if you spent over $95. Damn, I completely missed this one. I think it's pretty cool, and this is a great little thing to get for free. It would just be cool if this was a product you could buy for like 10 quid or so. I like it, but it's kind of small, so I'd only want to shell out a few clams for it. Do you know how much this bad boy goes for on BrickLink? Yes, I do, Joe. Let me pull some sales data out of my bum bum. Okay, so if you were to buy one of these on BrickLink from a North American seller, it would cost around 40 quid USD. What the puck? This thing is only 219 pieces, though. That's insane. Well, shit, at that price, I will once again pass on this set. Poo. Yeah, that's the thing. It's a cool little set. It's got my handsome son, Tahu, in it. But I ain't paying that much dough for his tiny ass. Another thing to consider about this Bionicle rumor is that the new 2025 Bionicle sets could be built in this style with just regular old system bricks. What are your thoughts on this, dear Joseph? I think it looks okay, but it ain't nowhere near as cool as the good old-fashioned Technic Bionicle sets. Although the later generation of Bionicle sets were less technical and more like action figures, I could see that being acceptable. But I would really like to see LEGO take Bionicle back to its roots and use traditional LEGO Technic gears and stuff. I agree 100%, Joseph. I also want to see kind of like a remake of the original Toa. It would be insane and completely off the chain if, if LEGO actually reproduce some of those old Bionicle molds for the new pieces, but who knows? They could literally do anything with this new generation of Bionicle. I think going back to Bionicle's roots is a great idea. Very soon, 2000s nostalgia is going to be very trendy, and we're going to see tons of early 2000s remakes, and Bionicle should be treated the same, like a remake instead of something totally different and unrecognizable. That's so effing true about the 2000s nostalgia. A while ago, 80s nostalgia and now 90s nostalgia is a huge thing in pop culture. I can't wait to see some early 2000s stuff come back. Yeah, son, it's going to be good. Yeah, it's going to be tight. Yeah, when it's tight, it's right. Cha, dude.